today I'm with Diamond. Diamond, how long have you been out here in the streets of Phoenix? Um, off and on for 10 years. And are you currently using blues? Occasionally, yeah. And when did that start? How were you introduced to them two years ago? Mm. They're an acquaintance. And had you used any other substances before blues two years ago? Mm -hmm. And how would you compare what you were using previously to these blues? And uh, you said you mentioned your hustle. Uh, what do you do? Do you do like, do you do dates? What do you do to make money? Um, I do dates and I panhandle as well. Mm -hmm. Does your family know that you're out here, Diamond? Yeah. How do they feel about that? Mm -hmm. They don't like it at all. They want me to come home. You know. And uh, do you think that'll happen soon for you to go home? Mm. I don't know. I hope. I mean, I never lose hope, you know. So. I notice you have a doll on your hand. Is that your, like, companion keeps you company? Mm -hmm. Yeah, a little doll. Does your doll have a name? Okay, cool. And uh, how do you stay safe out here, Diamond? I just try to remain aware of my surroundings at all times. And then also, hmm, I just watch my back all the time. And then also, I, uh, I'll either have a pocket knife or mace on me. So... Have there been situations that were kind of scary for you uh, as far as, you know, you hustling and just being out here in general? Has there been some sticky situations for you? Definitely, yeah. And I've been kidnapped, uh, not for long periods of time, but, you know, if somebody locks you in their car and they don't let you out, it's, you're being kid you've been kidnapped, you know, so, yeah. When those those uh things happen to you isn't that motivation for you to get treatment and just get off the streets because of that that danger factor mm -hmm. i really i i don't believe in treatment i believe in uh somebody it's like to me it's i have to be motivated and i have to be surrounded with people that want the same thing for me you know what type of people are you surrounded by now? Just people that are doing the same thing as me. Getting high and uh, that's it. Just like a street hustle, you know? Is that like your, would you say that's your main goal every day is just to smoke? I think goals are good you know it gives you something to shoot for and to aim at uh, but you know ultimately um, it's a uh, it's um, it's gonna be on you to to get off of these streets 
Ha, uh, you said you don't believe in treatment, like going to a treatment center. Why is that? Why are you so against it? Mm. Because I am, uh, I'm extremely against um, human trafficking, and I think that those places just, uh, I think they just warehouse uh, a class of people, you know? So. You know, it's just kind of trafficking people along rather than really letting Americans be free like we're supposed to be. Oops, sorry. That was just to be size. Yeah, no worries. Um, so, uh, <clears throat> yeah, I mean, that's an interesting take. I've never heard that before from anybody regarding uh, uh, treatment centers. Uh, here in the United States, uh, people have the right to refuse medical treatment, medical care. So you could just walk out of treatment centers at any time uh, if you so choose. You know, people have gone for a day, for an hour, and they just leave. So there is that freedom there. Uh, but sometimes people do stay and complete treatment 30 days, 60 days, 90 days, a year, whatever it takes to get well. Okay. So th those success stories are, are ultimately good, right? Wouldn't you agree with that? Mm -hmm. they're, they're choosing to stay and, and be successful right. uh, and just turn a new leaf and, and le live a, a different life that that's ultimately that's good right yeah and uh do you have kids uh, i won't discuss that you don't want to discuss kids okay um where do you see yourself in the next three months diamond You're probably just thinking about today and tomorrow, right? Mm -hmm. maybe, maybe tomorrow, but definitely today as far as, you know, what the hustle and right. the next smoke and stuff. Um, <clears throat> I uh, approached you and I told you that the purpose of my channel is prevention through awareness by you sharing your story uh, on my channel. Young people can, can learn from you and stay away from the dangers of these pills. What's the youngest person you've seen out here, Diamond? Eighteen. Eighteen? Mm-hmm. The youngest person I've seen is 13. I've heard others tell me 14 and somebody else saw a 15-year-old. So there, uh, people are getting younger and younger. How do you feel about that? That's too young. They, they still they're still developing right their minds are still developing and that's just a young age to be living this lifestyle right it is mm -hmm. if, if it's one thing if diamond you know uh chooses to live this you know this way you know free and do whatever you want because you've kind of lived life a little bit when you're 13 14 15 like that's you haven't done anything right what are your thoughts on that Everybody's different. Okay. You know, I was definitely uh, doing what I should be doing now when I was 13 and 14 as far as working and being responsible. You were responsible at that age? Yeah. And uh, so if you're, you're responsible at that age, like what happened? Like w was there something traumatic that happened that derailed you from that? Mm -mm. No? Okay. And uh, where did you sleep last night, Diamond? I didn't sleep last night. You haven't slept? Mm -mm. What's the longest you've gone without sleeping? How many hours or how many days? Two months. Two months straight without sleeping? Nodding out here and there, but that's it. Two months straight without sleeping. Wow. Is that because of the blues or other stuff or what do you think it's just being homeless and not tr you know tr trusting anybody that i'm around really because i'm on the street you know i've heard that a lot uh, uh it's hard to sleep because you're not comfortable because you wake up and your stuff is missing or 
there's a man approaching you, a man laying next to you, or somebody trying to take you or grab you or touch you. Right, or you wake up around a group, group of people and you wake up and they're all gone, you know, and it, when it happens a lot, you're like, where does everybody keep going? Yeah. Uh, Diamond, I'm going to say thank you very much for talking to me. I really appreciate you opening up and uh, trying to shed some light on your this lifestyle and kind of what's going on with you. And hopefully this helps a young person out there to stay away from this lifestyle, right? Yeah. So uh, thank you very much. I really appreciate you. You be safe out here. I'm going to give you my card with my number so you can call me if you ever need to write a treatment or tell your families or just somebody to talk to, okay? Okay. Uh, I'm also going to grab you lunch. Lunch has been donated by my subscribers. You stay safe out here, okay? Okay.